camp spot. And we are off. It's 6.08 a.m. on Friday, May 20th. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited about today. Look at this house. St. Giles Farm. Beautiful home. And the farm is on the, my right right here. Okay, I'm excited about today because it's going to be the flattest of the whole hike. It's so flat. It's like, like, like that, flat all the time for 19 miles all the way to Ingleby Cross. Our destination today is the village of Ingleby Cross and I have booked a campsite behind a pub. <laughs> uh, the pub is Friday Fish and Chips, Fish and Chips Friday. So I can't wait to eat fish and chips after 19 miles. Uh, most people hike this section from Richmond to Ingleby Cross but I walk another extra four miles yesterday, so instead of 23 miles, I only have 19 miles. Yay! Okay, so let me figure out where I'm going and I will get back with y'all. I just passed the farm. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to cross or go under the highway. Ooh, that's steep. Ooh, I need my hand. Coast to coast. I am in the village of Catterick and here's an uh, information about the old Roman Catterick, Cataractonium back in the AD AD, the Roman era. I'm gonna take a picture of this and read it later. This is mile 119. I've walked about three miles so far. My pace is three miles per hour. Um, there's St. Mary's Church in the in the village Brompton on Swale. I'm gonna stop by there. Of course, I like old churches. <laughs> yeah, but there's nothing to report. Just going through villages and farmland, roads. Last night was so calm. No rain at all. No wind. It's just perfect uh, today too. But there's a small possibility of rain today in the afternoon this is the village bolton on swale there's the church over there oh what is this Water pump, old water pump. Yay, there's a toilet. I go potty. Oh, this is so narrow and the grass is wet. I get wet. And it's cold. It got worse and worse. Oh, I'm soaked. Oh, better. Well, that section through the field was bad. I hated it. Uh, there's some stinging nettles. It was really, really narrow at the end, even more narrow than before, and there's holes 
on the ground. If you're not careful, if you're not looking, you, you can twist your ankle. <laughs> and there's some stinging nettles that get stung. Mm. Anyway, now I'm happy that we are road walking for about three miles <laughs> to the next town, Street Lamb. Okay, bye-bye. Still on the very, very long road walk, but at least it's very quiet. I don't mind it. <laughs> Three hours and this really long road walk. Finally, I arrived at the village of Street Lamb. It's very small and there's nothing really. Maybe just, maybe it's a hamlet, not a village. Uh, just passing through and then We'll move on. Yikes, look at this. <sighs> Overgrown. <sighs> Next destination is the village of Danby Whisk, which is a mile and a quarter. I prefer road walk than this. Oh. Nine fifty-five a.m. I have reached the village of Danby Whisk. Mm. Margaret. That's a nice home. That is the village pub, the White Swan. But it's only ten o'clock, so they're not open yet. I have about nine more miles to my destination. That's the village green. <laughs> There's a church there. Ooh. I'm stopping by this campground to use the bathroom and get some ice cream, hopefully. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I need to find bathroom first. This is a really nice campground. There's toilet. Shower. And there's a farm. And there's a church next to it. There's the campground. Chicken walking around. <laughs> Wow, the church is cool. I love churches. And that's a little store. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Yay! I have some breakout, I don't know, from going through fields and those overgrown stuff. Ooh, look at the church behind me. I gotta take a picture. I get an ice cream, a jelly, jelly babies. I've never heard of jelly babies. John told me about it, it's really good. It's like gummy bear, but a little bit different. And I get an apple. Okay, moving on. The apple is so small, but very sweet. <laughs> Jelly baby. It's about 11.45, I still have, no, I only have 5.8 more miles to the 
what is it? Is it a pub? I think it's a pub. You can camp behind it called the Bluebell Inn. Oh, I'm tired. The hike has been easy, but it's also boring, which is fine. If it's easy, that's fine. But it's, my, my shoulder is tired from carrying my pack, even though my pack is really light right now. There's not much to show you. Just fields, overgrown, somewhat forest, <laughs> uh, road. That's it for today. There's a sleeping horse. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello. Never mind. Too tired. It's Friday. You could sleep in. <laughs> Oh, did you know that people here, most of them don't have dryers, like in America. So when you wash your clothes, you hang your clothes, inside or outside. Yep, in Scotland too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, okay. <sighs> Silly. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Mile 129.9. Crossing this railroad track. <sighs> It's exactly noon. <sighs> I can't wait to sit down. There's no bench at all. Nowhere to sit down except you want to sit down here? Okay, sure. Oh. <sighs> Fish and chips in four and a half miles. <laughs> Not much around here, just road walking. I'm so sleepy and bored and tired. 2.3 more miles. One point six more miles. So sleepy. Point eight miles. I'm worried. Uh, soon here I'll have to cross a really, really busy highway with no pedestrian crossing. It's Highway A19. And this, there's many, many lanes. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to cross okay without having to wait 10 minutes. There it is. And there's a big shell station over there. Hmm. Okay. Slowly. Oh my gosh, there's a lot coming. 
how am I going to cross this? Okay, after this one. Okay, that's one. Now this side. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Dead. <laughs> Point 0.5 miles. Welcome to Ingleby Arncliff. <sighs> I believe it's this way. Is it? Oh, that's the joiner shop, coffee and kitchen. Maybe next to it. Hmm. How about that one? Maybe it's that one. A war memorial. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, that must be it. There's a Bluebell logo on it. Right there. Bluebell. Is it open? Not really, so.